Hey yo, I am continuing my series and going live today. I'm deviating away from stage presence and I'm just going to get a little vulnerable, talk about myself, give a little bit of my story, tell you about my biggest challenge as a musician. So my biggest challenge as a musician has definitely without a doubt been tendonitis. I have been dealing with tendonitis for a while. So let me back up a little bit though. Um, my tendonitis issue started in 2013 no excuse me 2014 i was one year into being full-time as a musician i finally gone full-time and i um long story short is on some medications they didn't warn me that being on certain antibiotics you need to take it easy physically because it can cause tendon ruptures and things like that so i was kind of a victim of that and i took some time off i swear i tried every single treatment that I could think of, um, PT, OT, massage. Um, they did the little things with the electrode steroid shots, injections. It was a lot of things. This just made working at the dueling piano bar very difficult because that's where I was working at the time, as well as um, I was doing private gigs. I kind of had to cut back on those. Uh, I remember that I had some gigs lined up after I first came down with it, and I just remember not talking to them, not saying a whole lot. They were repeat clients. They had hired me the year before, and they were probably wondering what the heck was going on. It's just I was in I was in a lot of pain. And the thing that's tricky about tendonitis of the thumb—that's technically where mine was. It was um, on both sides. It's, it's called the queer veins. Is that it can also get in here, which is cross intersection, which is where mine was. It can also affect your elbows and it can affect your shoulders. To this day, I still have to watch it because it can kind of travel up. But that was for, that was fall of 2014 and it went until 2020 when lockdown happened. So it was five and a half years that I was dealing with this. Like I said, when I tell you I've tried every treatment, I'm not joking. I've tried every treatment for it. But time during lockdown and um, really gave me an opportunity to finally heal and um i still try not to overdo it and it may just be kind of like i really don't want anything to happen um just kind of anxiety about it but i i've really tried to try to take it easy since then so there were some there was some silver lining to all this i will say and I, that's probably one of the things that's really gotten me interested in doing like stage presence kind of stuff and talking about it a lot more one of the first things that happened was I was singing for a church at that time and they always had me behind an instrument. I was either behind a piano or I was behind a, an acoustic guitar. They didn't want to take me off the team. They still needed people. So they ended up putting me out front and I was like just out front one of the singers, but they really liked it. The, he said he really enjoyed having me out front. So he just wanted me keep me out there more. And um, that was kind of a vote of confidence. I appreciated that because up until that point, most of the things that I had been doing had been behind a piano. I mean, I guess I'd done some other things at churches earlier where I, I wouldn't, but I had been used to that shield and just being behind it and it was comfortable back there. Um, I also joined not just one, but two wedding bands because things were getting really difficult at the Jillian Piano Bar. I thought I need to look for alternate work. So I got recruited by a wedding band that's known that they um, they take various musicians of subcontractors and they bring them all together. That's actually, I guess that's the way that both of them work. But the difference is one of them, you just kind of know your stuff, you show up, you do it. The other one, it's kind of like, this is the recording, learn it verbatim. This is how we do it every time. I kind of failed miserably at the second one because I just been used to doing kind of whatever form factor we would do and doing pianos. And so memorizing, memorizing exactly how it was supposed to go. And I had a new baby at the time. I just, I didn't do all. Anyway, all that to say, I was in a position again where I had to learn to be that front person and without an instrument, learn to get the crowd going, learn how to interact with them, learn things to say in between songs because something would always go wrong. Um, like, the drummer didn't get the set list, so he didn't know. And he's like, what's next? <laughs> and I'm like trying to lead the band. Like, what do you mean what's next? Like, it's at the set list like two weeks ago. 
Um, anyway, that that always happens. That's why it's so important to have things in your back pocket that you can that you can talk about between songs. Shameless plug. I have a free download available for that. Check my bio. Anyway, uh, the other thing that I learned was I started a completely separate business that was not related to music at all. It's Worker B Media. It started out as video editing, and then I shifted into photo editing. I followed honestly. I followed a course, and she gave me a great framework. I learned a lot. I made a lot of wonderful connections by doing that. And um, some some photographers whose work I admire and I respect, and I'm so grateful that they took a chance on me to be a part of their team and to edit their help them edit their photos. And most importantly, I learned about starting a business from the ground up and also learning a creative skill, learning how to learning how to take something that's creative and kind of abstract seeming and systematize it. The lessons that I learned from worker B media will stay with me for the rest of my life. I'm so grateful and thankful for that time. And I can honestly say I probably would not have done it if it hadn't been for the unfortunate, the unfortunate of having tendonitis and having to work through that. But in doing that, in editing the photos, I also, really really had a strong desire to go back to the stage because all i would do like hollowed i would listen to music and just really really want to be on stage so it also helped me really kind of find myself and what my true talents are and where my true passions were so i returned to the stage in 2022 i guess 2021 kind of i would do like things here and there but then 2022 i was like okay I made the decision to shut down Worker B Media. It was really painful, but um, I did it and I came back to the stage. So that is, that's just a little bit more about me and my story and I guess how I got here to where I am right now, where I took a break from music and came back with even more passion and came back with passion about a really specific area, the stage presence and talking about that and helping others maybe to get the training that I didn't get when I was just starting out. That probably could have helped me a whole bunch. And it's funny, actually, I, I was thinking it before, like, right, like during, I was, while I was pregnant, I was thinking about it, but I didn't really know exactly what it looked like or what to call it. And it kind of took that time with worker B and trying of working through working through and finding myself to figure out, oh, this is the name. This is what you call it. So um, I know that there are a lot of other musicians out there who have physical elements that keep them from doing or performing as they want to. But I just want to give you some hope and some encouragement that you can work through it, even if it means taking some time off or some time away. Um, I, that's not something that I really want to hear. And especially in the scene that I'm in, which is the dueling piano scene, it's like, I don't even know how, how am I going to do that? But just know that it is possible. Um, And if, if you are dealing specifically with tendonitis and you're not getting treatment for it, I highly recommend getting some treatment for that, going and seeing some doctors, figuring out stretches, things like that. But anyway, that's just a little bit about me. And um, I'm going to be going live again tomorrow But hopefully tomorrow it will be while I'm actually at the Dueling Piano Bar. That's what my hope is. We'll see what actually happens because it's that emo night that I've been so looking forward to. (laughs) Anyway, um, thanks again for those here of you who are tuning in. And I hope to talk to you all soon.